Hello YouTube and welcome to my my channel. Um, this is Kingdom of God or or this is the Kingdom of God channel and um, and well I'm going to read some scriptures and I'm going to do a Bible study. Today we're going to talk about the topic of worry. You know God calls us not to worry, tells us not to worry about worry about anything. Yeah, in fact it could be labeled as a sin to worry. It's, it would be small worry, but it's just, I, don't, I don't know if it's a small sin, but I don't believe in small sins. All sins are the same. But anyway, um, God, Jesus says, do not worry for for what you, for, for your Heavenly Father will provide your needs. Now let's, let's grab a Bible, now let's grab our Bibles and turn to, turn to the book of Matthew, chapter 6. Here we are. Matthew 6, verse 25 to 34. That's what we're going to read at. The cure for anxiety or worry. You know, God tells us not to worry about anything or be anxious for nothing. You know, just be perfectly still. Be, you know, the scripture says, be, no, be still and know that I am God. That's what God, that's what David said and wrote in Psalm 20, 47, 49, 48, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Put us in the comment section. Wait, let me look it up. Post in the comment section if you want to. And I'll, I'll look it up myself. But you know what? Um, if you want to, go ahead and tell me what it is. Um, I'm sure, sure I know what it is. But anyway, yeah, God tells us not to worry about anything. Or we're being anxious. Be anxious for nothing. Let us be still and know that He is God. And, um... Oh yeah, it's Psalm 46, verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. And it's right here. Duh. Anyway, yeah. So, I want to talk, I'm going to read the scripture about worry and anxiety. Worry, worry about anxiety. And I'm going to, and I'm going to, um. And I'm going to, I'm going to talk about this too. Okay? Okay. So, like I said, if you have your Bible, turn to Matthew 6, verse 30. We'll go over read at verse 34. Matthew 6, verse 34, 20, 25 to 34. And it reads, and I'm going to read out Amplified, and I'll read out King James, too. Well, just read out whatever version you have, okay? Okay. Therefore, Jesus says, I tell you, stop being worried or anxious. Which means, in other words, it means perpetually uneasy or distracted. About your life. Do, do not. Be, therefore, I tell you, stop being worried or anxious about your life, as what you eat, as what you will eat, or what you will drink, nor what to know about your body, as to do what you what you will wear. As is life more not more than food, and the body more than clothing. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow seed nor reap. The 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 harvest reap the harvest. Nor gather the crops into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds, keeps them, keeps feeding them. Are you not much? More, are you not? Are you not worth much more than they? And who are? And who of you, by worrying, can add one hour of to the, to the length of his life? And why are you worried about the clothes? See how the lilies of the, the lilies and flower wildflowers of the field grow. They do not labor, nor do they spin wool to make clothing. Yet that yet the say unto you that not even Solomon in all his glory and his splendor dressed in himself like like one of these. But if God shall clothe the glitter grass of the field, which is today which is which is alive and green and green today, and tomorrow is cut and thrown in, thrown as fuel into the furnace, will he not much more clothe you? You oh, you of little faith. Therefore do not worry or be anxious. Saying, what, what are we going to eat? Or what are we going to, going to drink? Or what, what are we, we going to wear? For the pagan Gentiles, or the Gentiles, eagerly seek, seek him. Seek, oh, sorry. The, the, seek all those things, all these things. But do not worry, for your Heavenly Father knows that you need them. But first, and most importantly, seek the, his kingdom and his righteousness. His way of doing and doing and being right, 
the attitude and character of God, and all these things shall be added unto you also. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has, has enough trouble of its own. Okay, so we see here Jesus clearly talks about us, tells us not to be worried about what things about today or tomorrow, or, or about our Lord, or worry about our life. And I know my friend, and I'm, I hope that in this video will encourage you to not to give you worries to the Lord. And when you, when you, when you, Jesus died on the cross for everything. Okay, he died for our sins. He died. He died for our redemption. He died for for us to for our value to be restored. You know, anxiety comes from the fear. Comes from fear, and fear comes from the devil. And the devil's a liar. Okay, we can't be. We can't be anxious about anything anymore. Look, be still. Know that I am God. That's what Jesus tells us to do. God tells us to be still and be be. We're not. So I'm just, I'm encouraging you today. If you're if you're feeling anxious and worried, don't be worried. Don't be worried about anything. You know, give it all to the Lord. Okay, just give it all to the Lord, and He will take care of you. He'll take care of your needs, and He'll bless you. Because you like like the scripture says, your Father feeds them, and will feed feeds the birds of the air, and He will feed you too. Okay, so I thank you for all watching this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and God bless your name.